I'm gonna try to make sugar-free white chocolate. Now, the last time I tried making sugar-free chocolate, I had a low-quality allulose that tasted terrible, and I had this weird stevia sugar mix, so I didn't even have pure stevia to make it totally sugar-free. Fortunately, I work at a candy manufacturer, so to remedy this, I reached out to our vendor for allulose and stevia and got some from them. So, here's take on take two with sugar-free chocolate. Let's get started. Alrighty, you know the drill. We're gonna start out with 400 grams of cocoa butter that we're gonna melt down before we put it in the melange so. And we're gonna put in 20 grams. Well, yeah, we're gonna do 20 grams of milk powder. So, whoops, did I say 20 grams of milk powder? I meant 20% milk powder, so 200 grams of milk powder. And we're gonna do uh, 397 grams of allulose, and then I'm gonna stick three grams of stevia on top. <laughs> I lied, only two grams of stevia. Finally, as the coup de gras, we're gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla powder. And it sounds like the cocoa butter's done, so let's throw it all in the pot and see what happens. <laughs> Alrighty, so the nice thing about white chocolate is that you don't have to worry about breaking down acids and cocoa beans like you do have to with uh, any other kind of chocolate. So we're gonna come back tomorrow and temper it and see what happens. Hey guys, I got a haircut. What do you what do you think? Also, chocolate's done. Time to temper it. Hey guys, it's time for today's temper time random ramble. First off the bat, I really want to apologize for really the the sloppy lazy editing in this video. I'm recording this random ramble as I edit and I just feel really apathetic at this moment. Uh, the first reason is uh, something that I'll briefly mention in a couple videos. And the second reason is we had this large storm today which was really awesome but it caused some flooding in my room and so I had to spend a couple hours cleaning that up instead of editing. We're doing good. I do have some very exciting news. I've, I found a place to stay, a place to move out to, which I'm really excited about. It's for renting utilities. It's gonna cost me like 460 bucks a month, which is really good. It's a shared room, which eh, I'll take it for the cheap price. And it has so much counter space in the kitchen. So I'm gonna have plenty of room to make chocolate and candy. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Although I don't sound it, I'm really excited to move in. And so I'll move in in about a month. That's a little life update for today. Alrighty, so they've hardened, let's uh, Let's give it a try. There's definitely still a strong allulose taste. It's not terrible. It's just very different than like a regular chocolate that has sugar in it. I don't know. I'm gonna call it maybe a five or a six. Like not terrible, but really not great. I'll have to keep experimenting with the sugar-free chocolate. Maybe this is just how it is, but we're gonna need to run some more tests because, you know, why not? Let's, uh, let's have a good time. And remember guys, life's better when it's sweet.